Hi, this is Eugen. In today's video tutorial, we are going to look at visitors' behavior and we'll try to understand what really engage our visitors, what makes them loyal, and what makes them come more often to our website. So, to do that, we need to look at the behavior section just under visitors. And right here we have three reports available that will help us get more insights about our visitors. And we'll see there how good performs our website for different visitors. But right now we are going to look only at the frequency and recency reports and engagement. So for start, let's look at frequency and recency. This report will tell us how many visits a visitor has on our website. And it shows the count of visits, the actual number of visits for that count, and the page views available. It also presents to us a percentage of the total visits based on the count of visits. As you can see on my website, a lot of people visit the website only once and this is actually really bad. This percentage, 75%, is a really bad percentage. What is under 50% it's actually good. Now, what insights we get from this report is that a lot of visitors visit the website only once. And what we can do to learn more about these types of visitors? Because they are the visitors that keep coming over and over again on the website. And what we really want to do is see where they come from, what they do on our website, what content they see. And then we can take those insights and try to engage more visitors and make them come back to our website more often. So to achieve that we need to create a segment, an advanced segment that will filter for us the visitors that come to our website more than two times. So we'll look at these visitors, see how they behave on our website, where they come from, and then we can try to implement changes on our website based on that insight. Or we can try to leverage more those sources to send us more engaged visitors. Now, to create this advanced segment, we need to go to advanced segments and create new custom segment. Right now, uh, we need to um, apply a name for this segment. Uh, we'll call it frequency. And we are going to include the traffic count of visits that is greater than 1. Now we are going to test the segment. Okay, so out of a total of 5,000 visits, 1,230 visits match our segment. And I'm going to save this segment. Now it's automatically applied. And as you can see here, 24, almost 25% of our visitors come to the website more than once. And having this filter, we can go now to traffic sources and see where those visitors come from. What are the sources that send us this type of visitors? Is it search engines? Is it referral campaigns? Is it Twitter, Facebook? So right now we see that most of them come from uh, Google. Then a high amount of them come direct to, to the website. These are the visitors that have a bookmark for our website or they just type in the, the URL. 
and you will see that they are important because if they have a bookmark they come frequently and you can see them in this report and right here you will see all the sources with visitors that come more than once to your website and you can try to leverage those sources and try to get more visitors on the website so if it's Facebook spend more time on Facebook if it's Twitter spend more time on Twitter or share more content and get more visitors to come to you now if you if we go and uh, look at the organic visits that are sent by search engines we'll see a list of with keywords that rank well in search engines and send us engaged visitors so you can you can have a look at them and uh, try to see what rankings you have you can use tools like advanced web ranking and see what is the the position of your keyword in Google in, in a search engine and then you can try to improve that position so if you are on number five in Google you can try to do something to improve your search engine optimization and go to, to number three and or number one and you'll get more visitors that come for a specific keyword so right now for let's say for this keyword WordPress photo gallery we have 49 49 visits from them and okay let's let's see what's the what's the position as you can see here my article because this is an article is number four so if I do something to improve my search engine optimization if and if I go number three or number one I'll increase the number of visits for this type of visitors and that will be really good because I'll have going back to to the frequency I'll have these numbers higher than just one visit next you can go and have a look at your content and uh, see what what pages they visit what are the the what uh, page views they have what articles you have that do well for for this type of visitors and if you have articles or if you have pages if you have uh, different types of content you can go and write again about them write and get more visitors that spend more time on on your website and and come again on on your website that's for frequency now we can check the recency which means that we can check the days since the last visit let's go and deactivate the the frequency segment and right now you'll see that the 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 days since the last visit the majority of them it's zero and again visitors come on the website and they never come again and it's again it's it's a very high percentage 90 percent is a lot so 90 percent of the visitors that come to the website they never come again but what we can do we can take these other visitors those that come again and again on the website as you can see here a, a good percentage compared with the others a good percentage and a good number of visitors they come almost every day on the website and they check the website and see what's new on the website what articles um, I have published so what we are going to do now we'll create an advanced segment for recency and we'll call it recency and we'll say days since last visit are greater than zero test segment and 500 visits are greater than zero and we are going to save the segment and right now just similar with the example below you can go and check the traffic sources and the content and see what works for these people what works for these visitors and try to repeat it and try to get more visitors that match this behavior and getting more visitors that have the same behavior 
as this ones you will get more value for your website and you'll get more more subscribers more customers more revenue and the third example is engagement um, again we need to deactivate this segment and try now we're going to look at the visit duration so again it's actually a good percentage 46 percent of the people spent less than 10 seconds on the blog it's it's actually a good percentage what is under 50 percent for for f uh, frequency recency and engagement it's a good percentage what is over 50 percent is not that good we want to, to filter people that uh, spend more than 10 seconds on our website or uh, more actually more than 30 seconds because uh, 20 seconds is, is not that much or moreover we can we can go for 60 seconds so we'll create an advanced segment and we'll call it engagement and we'll include visit duration greater than 60 seconds test segment 1000 visits okay and save the segments Try now, we'll see the data only for the people that spend more than 60 seconds on the website. So again, we, we go and look at traffic sources, at search engines, at keywords, at the content on our website. And we'll try to figure out what keeps these people engaged. And we want to repeat what we discover so we can get more people that are engaged with our website. That was for now about uh, visitors behavior. I hope that you enjoyed this video tutorial. This is Eugen from Web Analytics Blueprint.